the top five hardest characters to really get down in multiverses. And let me state real quick as we get started, the reason why these characters make my top five hardest to learn is just because they have a lot going on. They have like passive abilities you gotta keep track of. They have really crazy specials. They might have a lot of cooldowns for the special abilities as well. They just got what might feel like a lot compared to some other characters. And if you really wanna get down their strategy, their game plan, their combos, it's gonna take a bit more than just playing, let's say Shaggy. Nothing wrong with that. They're just a bit harder to pick up than normal. First on my list in no particular order is gonna be Black Adam. Black Adam doesn't really have any passive abilities you gotta worry about, but he can fly. And the reason why that matters is because you're really comboing, flying and still comboing. And that can take some practice. His side special is meant to like drag you into combos. His down special reflects projectiles and has a game plan for you to set up. Same with your neutral special. Like this takes some like setup here. And like, where do you wanna go from there? His down air has got a sweet spot you gotta worry about. His overall game plan and strategy is just a bit more complex than some characters. Not super intense, no, but he will take some practice, yes. Next on my list is Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny's got a ton of fun, but crazy stuff. Our crouching animation is an actual move to search for a random item. Fun fact for you. So you gotta worry about that. You have a ton of cooldowns to worry about, like your side air special, this rocket, and that rocket is shared with your air up special as well. So you gotta worry about all that, plan the rocket appropriately, or at least try and set it up, right? Then you got the safe you gotta worry about as well. Then while it's on the field, you gotta worry about hitting it. You can even create a hole in the map and kind of pop up wherever you want to. And then you and your ally can both use that hole and so can your specials. Like that's gonna take some planning if you really wanna hit that kind of combo. He's got one of the best neutral airs in my opinion. He's got one of the best up airs in my opinion as well. And all these taken into account, you know, his specials, his cooldown, his moves, that'll take some really hardcore planning and strategy to really get down. You can button mash, sure, but you're not gonna get a lot done. You gotta play smarter, not harder with bugs. Next, we have Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry is the same way. He's got tons of stuff going on. Your normal attack is this racket hit that's not just a normal attack. You gotta shoot Jerry, shoot balls at Jerry, and then play racquetball with them. So you're kind of playing your own game while playing an online game. You can set traps. You can use Jerry as a rocket, but then you're vulnerable, of course. You can fish for your opponent as well, and that's got a sweet spot. He's got pretty good air attacks, but if you really want to master Tom and Jerry, you gotta be using Tom and Jerry separately like this a lot of the time. Put that pressure on the field to your opponent. Make them basically just be fighting both of you separately. He's not really a puppet character per se, but he's got puppet character properties. That can be kind of hard to get down, especially as a casual player, but man, is he a ton of fun. On the surface, Rick might seem pretty simple, but he's got a ton of stuff going on in the background. Passive abilities? No, but all of his specials have cooldown and they're crazy. This portal, yes, we can create a portal and kind of go anywhere on screen, sure. But that can be utilized in combos, you know? I can't do it. And it's because it's hard to really get down. Our down special will actually make us bigger, make our opponent a rain dog and make our ally bigger as well. So you gotta make sure you plan that right and not waste it. Then it's on cooldown. Your up attack in the air silences your opponent and you wanna make sure you plan that right as well. Calling me seeks takes some skill too. Not just calling him, but then using him appropriately. Do you wanna go up? Do you wanna go down? Again, you're kind of playing a puppet character in that aspect when you do call me seeks out. Then you gotta worry about yourself and me seeks and hopefully maybe trap your opponent if you're good enough. His fart bomb is really good for edge guarding if you use it right. Rick's just got a ton of crazy stuff that you can, you know, you, you can button mash and have fun with it, sure. But again, like all these other characters, if you wanna like use these strategically and appropriately and effectively, it's gonna take some practice and you gotta play smarter. It's not just Rick, it's Rick and Morty. Morty is a bruiser, but he plays like a goddamn mage. We can earth bend, we can throw grenades, we can then split those grenades and shoot those grenades. That's all gonna take some planning for sure, especially in the middle of a fight. We can call a UFO to bring us and our opponent upwards and that can ring out your opponent if you trap them right we also have a portal yes our down special this life-saving point we do it again we go right back to that you can already imagine the plays that can create it also drops a grenade for us to shoot or to split obviously this down air and up air are really good normal combos on the ground yeah pretty easy to understand sure but with the cooldowns the abilities the grenades the earth bending the portal and the life-saving point the ufo and so much more morty's got a ton going on. So to keep track of all that, use it in a fight, that's gonna take some skill, that's gonna take some practice. So yeah, he's a bit on the harder scale to learn, or at least pick up. My honorable mention is gonna be Marvin. Marvin, like all these characters, just has crazy abilities that require a cooldown. And if you really wanna plan all this right, you're gonna need to plan for it. What does this do? Oh yeah, the rocket can follow us and we can turn it around. That's gonna take some planning. We have a projectile. Our side special brings our opponent towards us for some combos. Our up attack is actually projectile 
projectile within itself. Our down special isn't really even a hit. It just makes it so now our opponent can be tracked by our rocket. So all of these things revolving around the specials definitely take some planning. So yeah, he's, he's a bit more complex as well. Let me know down below what characters do you find harder to pick up in multiverses and why? These are just my top five. Let me know yours down below. Subscribe here for more multiverses and fighting game content. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more multiverses news, guys, tutorials, and more.